assalamu alaikum level 6 today we are going to solve a problem from chapter ratio the question says that the ratio of the amount of juice in a glass a to the amount of juice in glass b is 2 ratio 1 when 20 ml juice is poured from glass a to glass b the ratio becomes 5 ratio 3 what is the total amount of juice in both glasses so here first we write data that earlier the juice in glass A was 2 with ratio to glass B was 1. So earlier this, this ratio was 2 ratio 1 to glass B and A when 20 milliliter of juice was poured from glass A to glass B then ratio was changed to glass A remained 5 units and glass B become 3 units. Students you have to think that whether the amount of juice is increased or decreased or remain same of course the amount of juice juice remains same because just they poured juice from glass A to glass B and the overall juice remains same so we think here that what was the unit quantity at first this was 3 2 units in glass A and 1 unit in glass B that is that will become 3 units overall the uh, amount of juice was 3 units so later on when 20 ml poured from glass A to glass B then ratio become 5 ratio 3 so we think that the total units will become 8 5 with glass A and 3 with glass B then this will remain 8 units now as you know that that overall amount of juice remains same so we check that the total amount earlier and uh, after will remain same so we calculate that at what stage these total amounts will become same so we increase this total amount and this total amount and we uh, find that at what stage this will become same so here if we increase 3 8 times it will become 24 24 and if we increase 8 by 3 times it also become 24 so that means <coughs> at this stage the total amount of juice becomes same so we increase all the ratios that much time so we increase this also 3 times 3 3 is the 9 and 3 5 is the 15 so later on the uh, ratio was 15 ratio 9 that will become 24 and in this we increase this ratio also 8 times 8 1 is the 8 and 8 2 is the 16 so, so actually the amount of glasses earlier and later on the ratio was this and the mentioned ratio, ratio was simplified ratio so here uh, students you compare these both as you know that there is difference of units in glass A that earlier the glass A contains 16 units of juice and later on glass A contains 15 units of juice because one unit was poured from glass A to glass B that's why the difference of units is one unit so here one unit is equal to 20 milliliter and what is the total units of juice that is 24 units of juice that's why we can say that 20 if one unit is equal to 20 ml then 24 units will be equal to 20 multiply by 24 so this will become we can multiply here 24 with 20 
multiply by 20 first we multiply by 0 you know that whenever we multiply 0 with any number the answer will be 0 so 0 4 is the 0 and 0 2 is the 0 we make one cross here then 2 4 is the 8 and 2 2 is the 4 so we add these numbers 0 this is 8 and this is 4 so the answer is 480 that means the total amount of juice is 480 milliliters.